One of the things that I like about iSpring is that you're able to add a lot of things to resources that you already have. And uh, for example, we're going to add a slide here and then put in a some web object. In this case, we're going to switch it to iframe or in, embed code. So we're going to embed this code in iframe from Quizlet. Let's take a little preview. We'll accept all this. And it's going to show us the preview. Um, so once this gets going, uh, you know, we also have this other quiz that we made, right? We'll take a quick look at the preview and what this, how this looks to the students. So it just takes a little bit of time to generate that preview, to process it all. And once it's ready, uh, we'll see the presentation as the students would see it. And so the next slide, the vocabulary, just takes a second to load, is an actual iframe to the deck in Quizlet. I mean, what's what's great about that for ELLs is, or, or any students for that matter, is we're, they're not going to multiple places. We have all of, we have the, the learning, the explanations, the visuals, and then, you know, the quiz at the end, all in one place. That's one of the nice things about iSpring. Not only does it let you use a lot of the things that you already have, the things that you've been creating over the years, but it gives you options whether you use an LMS or whether you want to just deliver this PowerPoint, this, this published package to them through Google Classroom. It's really designed to accommodate a variety of different e-learning situations.